Hi, this is Dan for Tech Digest and Shiny Shiny, and I'm here today with the Asus eTop All-in-One Mini Desktop PC. Now, it's a mini desktop because not only is it small in stature, but also it's small in terms of what it's got inside as well. Like the famous netbooks that Asus make, it also has those kind of guts inside. So, instead of a normal processor, you've got an Atom in here, 1.6 GHz Atom chip. You've only got one gigabyte of RAM, but thankfully you've got a slightly bigger 160 gigabytes of HDD space. You do of course have Wi-Fi as well, and most importantly it does carry over having Windows XP as well, which is great. But the most exciting thing about this, apart from the nice look, is that it also has a 15.6 inch touchscreen, which is really good. Now it's a widescreen aspect of uh, 1016, but the, uh, the best thing about it of course is that you can do anything you would normally do, such as look at the internet with the touch of your finger. Um, which is great, so you know, all this kind of stuff, do I want to install that? Yeah, let's install that. Bits and pieces, anything you want. The internet itself is probably not the most exciting space though. What I quite like are the things like the dashboard itself that it already comes with, like the EPC2. Um, for example, something like the eCinema where you store a lot of your media. It's just really nice to navigate around it. So you can have all your videos, your photos, all your music stored here. And you just simply switch between the two. And you'll see the touch screen is actually nice and responsive as well. Uh, nothing too shoddy here. Um, like I say, what I like is the, uh, the way you can go around, but something like the photos as well, you can see the actual screen itself is pretty good. Not bad resolution at all. Now, one of the other touch screen things I really liked about this uh, were just little applications like the, the memos. So you can start sticking things around. There's the clock as well, which is really rather impressive. But there's the uh, memos you can write to. For example, hello. Well, that obviously looks terrible. So obviously you can instead use a stylus. Like that. And then you can move that around the desktop if you want. Start adding others. And when you're done with it, put it in the bin. Um, now, you can use the stylus for anything you like. Personally, I find it a bit fiddly. I use my finger as much as possible, but that's the way it goes. The stylus itself fits nicely into the keyboard down there, which is uh, pretty slim too, as it goes. Um, you can get a wireless keyboard and mouse. The standard option is wired, which is also, it's a bit of a shame in a way because it's such a clean line thing. Um, but actually, it's, you know, it's still probably with the wired, it's expensive enough on its own, I'd say. Uh, it does have six USB slots, which seems slightly excessive, but what the hell, I'm not going to complain about that kind of thing. It also has surround sound, which is at the bottom here, under here and over here for the speakers, which I can demonstrate like that, but you probably can't hear exactly how wonderful it is, but trust me, that's not too bad for built-in speakers. Um, the other thing about it, of course, it does have a 1.3 megapixel webcam at the top, so it's basically got all your utilities in one. The only problem with this is when it first came out, or when it was going to come out, we thought it was going to be £350. It's now a slightly skin-burning £450, which for me really you know, takes it over the value point in terms of what you're paying for the insides of it. It's really the design of the touchscreen where the money goes. Um, if you do still want it, it's out on the 29th of November, which is from now about nine days' time. Um, you know, it's a nice piece of kit, uh, but it won't be... I, I just don't think you're getting the value for money for it, even though it's good fun to play with.